Hi everyone, it's here. Thanks for stopping by. So we've got an unbagging today uh, and I'm getting pretty good at squishing parcels to see what's in them. So I think I know where this one's from. So let me get into it and have a look. Uh, yeah, it was taken in by one of our neighbours because we were uh, out uh, at hospital with hubby. And uh, when she brought it about across, she said, oh, I've told my hubby that you're getting as many craft supplies delivered as I'm getting horse things delivered. And I thought, somebody else has been squidging my parcel as well. <laughs> but yeah, it was really good of her to take it in. But, uh, it just really made me laugh. I'm like, ooh. <laughs> okay, ooh, oh, different things. Okay, oh. Okay, so let's have a look and see what we've got. So this has come from the lovely Ermin at onedaysaving.com uh, and she asked me if I would review a couple of their new products and then she's put me a diamond painting, it looks like, in with it as well. So we'll get into that and have a look. Let's have a look at this first because this looks quite interesting. This is a, uh, a glue point drill pen with one piece of wax okay so let's see i think i've seen these but we'll see if it's what i think it is as we get along so we'll just put that to one side and let me just see green clear plastic it's come very nicely boxed and it's pink it's pink i don't like my pinks it's not quite a hot pink but it's still a nice pink Okay, so it just has that on to keep it nice and straight in the container. Make a nice present. So I think these are similar to my um, silhouette pen that I have, where the wax is delivered through the end. And if they are, these are an awful lot cheaper than those silhouette pens. And looking at this, yes, it does. So I don't know if you can see, if you turn this end here, there's wax. If I just angle it a little bit, there is wax in the end. Let me just have a look myself so I can see what I'm doing. Turn this screw end here. I can feel quite a bit of pressure now. So it's definitely pushing it up. Oh, yes, look at that. Can you see now? I've actually pushed it too much. So you need to do it really, really carefully. You can see there that wax is pushing right out there to pick up your drills. I say I've actually done it too much. Let me see if I can pull it back again. No, unfortunately, and this was three pounds and twelve pence, and it comes preloaded with wax. And that's the one thing that I do find when I am doing any diamond painting. I, I hate having to refill a pen with wax, which is why I've always used my silhouette silhouette pick up pen uh, but this it, it's a little bit heavier because it's got metal parts on it whereas the silhouette pen is completely plastic but it's still nice to hold um you could still I wonder if you can still get your grips on just let me have a look see if one of these grips will go on i think it will be too tight yeah, so it's thicker than your standard pen. It is very, very warm here today. I'm just wondering, you could probably actually cut this. Um, I won't do it with one of my, my nice pink one, my nice hot pink one. Let me get a standard blue one. Let me get a standard blue one and we'll have a look. So, <laughs> it's alive, it's alive. Yeah, so you could wrap. Yeah, you can wrap your pen grip with it. It's it's uh, because it's the rubberized material. It's not going to slip. It it's on there to stay. So yeah, so you can still use um, a pen grip if you do want to. As I say, that's how much bigger uh, this is than a, a standard sort of pink drill pen that you get in your little kits. But yeah, look at that. So let's grab some drills and see how we pick up. I'm very excited about this. Oh, this is my huge bag of three tens look. Um, <laughs> maybe it's time I got rid of some. Although I have got a project ongoing that I do want to uh, use some on. So let's just see. Um, actually, let's, uh, if you remember, I've started my B project. And this is still sticky. Although, guess what I forgot to do? 
uh, I forgot to put a cover sheet on it, so it's probably covered in fluff. So I'm going to have to redo this bit anyway. But covered in the uh, in some magic glue. So let's just see. Uh, yes, that's picked up fine. And will it put it down? Yes, it will. This isn't very sticky, unfortunately. I should really have got a canvas. Okay, so yeah. Um, yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm uh, very excited about this pen because this is going to save me an awful lot of money. And they do come in different colours as well, I do believe. So yeah, check out the website. I'll put the link down below. But yeah, oh, this is getting slightly bigger as it's going along. <laughs> Yeah, very, very good. Impressed. Like that one. Thank you, One Day Saving. Okay. I'm going to have a look at this one now. So this is the uh, edging that they're selling now um, as part of like, well, it's it's actually a home decoration thing. But as crafters, we do tend to hijack other genres products. Uh, these are actually really for like, um, doing around the top of your ceiling in your home or using as a dado rail which is great because they're not going to chip or break they're just literally a nice foam that just springs back and it's a 230 centimeter roll multifunction self-adhesive 3d pattern edge decoration moldings trim border frame so you can use it as a frame you can use it as a border there's quite um a thing I don't know if you watch any of the home decoration programs. I'm always watching them. I'm no good at home decoration. Um, my sister's brilliant at like making everything look real homes and gardens, and I'm just nah. Um, <laughs> we're too messy for things like that. And if you've seen my craft room, yeah, you know that we're too messy. Well, I'm too messy for things like that. Um, but yeah, there's quite a thing whereby you put a piece of your matching wallpaper or contrasting wallpaper on the wall and just put a frame around it on the wall um, as like art. So yeah, there's quite a few different uses for this, but obviously this is for framing diamond paintings and I think it's really useful because it's got a good wide border on it and it will cover those edges. If you're not very good at cutting out, you know, when you've done your diamond painting, um, and you're wanting to frame it or you're wanting to do something with it and then you've got to cut around the edges you can't use a guillotine well unless you've got a really high quality expensive guillotine you can't really use one or I can't anyway because I find it frays the edges it's just not quite compatible with using like a cutter um, or a guillotine or whatever as I say unless you've got a really heavy duty one and mine are just crafting ones and I find it, I get a better edge particularly when the diamonds are right to the edge if you use um, a pair of scissors but it's not always easy to cut a perfectly straight line with a pair of scissors so this sort of like answers that question and I will show you on that canvas as well I should have opened the canvas first shouldn't I and then I could have shown you the pen working on the canvas and I could have shown you the edging working on the canvas okay so it's 200 actually what i'll do is grab a canvas that i've uh, already got from one day saving just a second back in a second okay so this is a pretty flower pattern that i got from one day saving this was sent to me in an earlier pr package free of charge um and again as far as i know this is still available on the website it's this pretty flower and it is just um acrylic gems that go onto it although you could swap out your acrylic gems with your sparkly gems which I may or may not do but I just thought it really matches in nicely with this edging so what you would do is oops let's just move that out of the way a second take the sticky off this I'm not going to do it properly because obviously I need to although you don't really need to drill it up first but I will drill this one first um, unpeel that so that's just sticky which is very very sticky which is great because it means it's going to stay on your canvas um let me just measure the width of this so the border the actual size of this is ooh, roughly one and three quarter inches which is about four and a half centimeters so it's really wide enough to cover most borders you tend to get three 
four at the most centimetres on an edge. It tends to be sort of like two and a half to three that you get. So it is going to overlap slightly, um, but then you could put, um, well, you could leave the cover on it, I suppose, uh, on that side. But if you're putting it straight onto your wall, then you can do it this way. Uh, I would, if you're taking the backing off, I think I'm going to have to do a picture and actually show how to use this properly. Uh, if you're taking the backing off, I would put it onto a surface. This is like a vinyl that I've got on top of my craft desk so that it's easily wipeable because I'm a messy pup. Um, and then what you need to do is like mitre the edge, cut it at a triangle. So that triangle there will sort of cut across that way. Okay, so it meets up with your corner there and your corner there. And then what you will do once you've done that is take it to this edge here and it will then so you've cut both your corners there and there and then you will cut that corner there and go up to there and I just think that gold with this canvas just really marks it off I say it saves you having to cut your edges unless you like to cut uh, keep your little legends you can do and it makes it really, really lightweight. And I would tend to put this onto a piece of foam board. I don't really like things flat on the wall. I do like them to look as though they are. Something's just moved in this room again. There's definitely something going on in this room. Something just moved. I heard it. So it's probably the fact that I've got so much stuff in this room. <laughs> it starts moving about on its own. It's a diamond painting in the corner saying, hey, you haven't looked at me for ages. Come and have a look at me. So, yeah, you would cut, but make sure, obviously, that your edges match up so you get a nice butted up edge. Um, I'm sure any woodworker, any framer would explain this a lot better than I'm doing, but I will be using this on a frame. So it's 230 centimetres and there's three feet in 100 centimetres. So it's like six foot and then 30 centimetres is 12 inches. So it's seven foot really, it's a seven foot roll. Uh, I'm not going to take it out and measure it because at the moment I've not got um, <laughs> a tape measure long enough with me. Mine only goes up to only just over a metre. But yeah, so that's a good like three pounds and twelve. And there's more than enough to do one paint in here. So let's just see. So we need four lots of that for a square, don't we? Three. So just roughly four. So yeah, and we've got plenty left. So that's really, really good. I don't like this idea. Um, we have, I think I've said before, we have a fairly newish house. Um, and the walls aren't brilliant. They're not made of brick. The interior walls aren't made of brick. They're all just this like proc stuff and whatever it's called uh, so actually you've got to find the baton where it's fastened to to be able to put nails in to hang anything heavy um, I think I said before that the neighbour across the way had three televisions because every time she hung a television on the wall thinking that she'd got the batons and in some cases she had it still fell off so anything that can make something lighter is great and to be honest diamond paintings particularly the big ones they are heavy when they've got all those drills on them and um, you only have to feel the size of a box when it comes gets delivered to you and how heavy it is with all the drills in well that weight is all going on to your wall so yeah it's just uh, a nice way to frame a painting so i'll put I, I should be able to still find the detail yeah i'll put the details of this picture in the comments down below as well in the comments in the description down below uh yeah it's just a really pretty painting that i did get from one day saving a while ago Okay, so let's now have a look at the diamond painting and see the conversators. They're exciting stuff. I do like getting little PR packages because it, it keeps the channel going. It saves me having to buy things to show you, but it also gives me nice useful things as well that I can use. And I can let you know what I think. Oh, oh, okay. A little bit dark at that side, but uh, we'll see how it comes out with the drills. So we've got our basic toolkit, which is your pen, your boat and your wax. And yeah, you can see now, look how much um, bigger 
this new pen is compared to a pink pen. Uh, about the same length. Yeah, I think once that's uh, pu pushed all the way in, it's going to be about the same length, but it is quite a bit wider. So, Okay, and this in here is actually a form of wax or gel or whatever. Um, but that's a lovely pink colour as well. I wonder if the other colour pens have the different colour in them as well. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, just how my mind works. Right. So we have a wolf. It's a wolf. It's a wolf. Who used to say that? I can't remember. It was in one of the cartoons I used to watch. And it looks like we have a dream catcher in the background as well. Has that got an eye in the middle there as well? It is a little bit small. Um, 30 by 40. I mean, it's fine. So it's my favourite size is 30 by 40. And I've done it again, look. Oh, I must watch doing that. As you can, see, can you see there how that is sticking? And it can pull glue off. So, yeah, it's got all sticky on the top there now. There is a right and a wrong side to this top covering on your painting. And although you look at it and you think, well, oh, it's just a piece of plastic covering. If you put the wrong, the wrong side down on your painting, you can see how I struggled to get that up. And that now has a sticky on it. It can ruin your canvas. It can take all the glue off your canvas. I'm not quite sure how that works. Um, Unless they put some sort of coating on the other side. Uh, I don't know. But anyway. So yeah, just always be careful if you do take your cover off completely that you put the right side on. I know one of the companies actually puts a sticker on them now. So that it says this this is the top cover this way up. Um, and sometimes when I'm working on say cards and things like that, smaller projects. And I keep the cover on. Then I myself put a sticker on as well because if it's going to go wrong I'm going to do it wrong <laughs> so as I said 30 by 40 uh, we've got 21 colours which is lovely and they're all DMC numbers there down that side we've got all numbers 1 down to 9 which is excellent and then all capital letters and yeah that's pretty good I can't see anything that's what have we got? We've got an 8, we haven't got a B. Oh, we have got a B. 8 and B. Oh, 8 is bright pink, look. And B is the blue. B for blue. Um, uh, S, I find S is a really difficult one. S and 5. Um, the similar colour, so I'll have to watch those. But other than that, I can't see anything that's particularly going to trip me up. I've just done a painting now um, and the S's and the 5's were pretty similar. And I really did have to sort of get my magnifying glass out and have a really good look. But, you know, maybe your eyesight is better than mine. Uh, it's pretty good and clear drill feel. So, yeah, I hope this is focusing in because my mirror has decided to stop working again for whatever reason. Um, the white letters on the darker back backgrounds and the dark letters on the lighter backgrounds are just making it that little bit easier to see. Yeah, even the purple has got uh, white on it. And they, oh, it's got hot pink on it. I hope it has got hot pink because it looks like a hot pink one. Okay, so let's have a look at these drills. So yeah, thank you one day saving. I like this canvas. Looks like it's smiling, doesn't it? Do you think it's smiling because it says, ha-ha, I'm going to have you for my tea? <laughs> or maybe it's just smiling because it's glad to be out of its packet. <laughs> okay, so wow, wow, oh wow. We have got all the colours. Okay, this looks more than 21. So we have a lovely peachy colour to start and then onto our pinks and onto our hot pink. So that rosy pink with that hot pink is going to look fab. And then we've got like a very pale peach. And that is this number 15. Where are we coming? Number 15 is 939. So that's a lovely dark blue. And there's a very small amount of 310 in this, I think. And we have your rusty colours and your wine colours and another dark blue. And a very pale pinky colour. Very nice. Matches my pen, that one. 
and then another what's that colour then sort of an orangey stony actually it's fake tan colour that one isn't it <laughs> and another peach and oh that is gorgeous that's more purple than hot pink but it's still there a lovely lilac -y colour oh and a very deep pink uh, purple pink it's purple is royal purple and some more stony sandy colours another more muted purple that's your little tiny bit of 310 with an escapee from this bag in it it's obviously wanted to join black party there look Thinks the three tens are having a lot better time than he is. And then a rusty colour at the end. And then finally, are they different ones? Yes, they are. 20 and 21 are 3857 and 3858. So both in the same colour family. And they're your browns. So actually, this looks quite muted, these colours. Quite darkish. But I think once all these drills are on it, it's certainly going to lively it up. Lively it liven it up a lot more the colours are a lot brighter and I think it's going to stand out a lot more than it does uh, actually just looking at the canvas wow like that okay so we did say we were going to have a little play with this pen didn't we so let me just grab this pen let's grab the tray we'll use the one that came with it okay this is just a quick test so what shall we start with shall we start with one of what colours have I got down in this uh, corner here? No, we're not. We're going to start up in this corner here, look. And I'm going to use... Seems we've already taken half the sticky off this side. Let's have a look. Where are we? I've no magnifying glass, so you'll have to bear with me. Okay, so I'm going to do these eights, these purples, with the... Uh, white eight in see if I can do some of those and they're not eights the sixes that's my eyesight because I've not got my uh, magnifiers so I need number six come in number six your time is up oh it's this dark purple okay all right let me grab a baggie A nice little grip seal bag to put them in so that uh, oops they're gonna escape over the edge and put me roll over that do you know i craft like this i just end up with stuff everywhere and i get so messy and i don't know how on earth i ever get anything done trust me to find the biggest uh, bag as well to uh, open so we'll just pop a few in that a few <laughs> Okay, how not to diamond paint on YouTube, number 263, uh, yeah, <laughs> so there's far too many in there really to uh, diamond paint with and I'm not very close to the canvas so let's just see, oh yes look at this, yeah, so there's too much wax come out there, let me just zoom this in a little bit. Okay, so I'm quite far away from this so I don't get my head in, but this is working really well. I would normally go a lot faster than this, but look at this, it picks up, it puts down. So yeah, that's not very straight. Um, Yeah, that's number eight there. I just use my nail to move that one. Okay. Yeah, putting them in the inside because what I tend to do is find that I just have the uh, wax just over the edge, well, just on the edge of the pen, and then I use the metal tip to actually move them around if I need to move them around. This is obviously poured glue, so that makes life a lot easier as well. Oops, that one hasn't come off because I've not got it straight. Go on, get down. And yeah, so I am impressed with this. I do like this. I've just tipped those. <laughs> this is what happens when you have too many in your tray. We just get those before they go on my canvas. Back in a sec. Oops, there's always one. There's always one that has to escape. So let's just pop those in there like that. 
so yeah well impressed so that's another canvas that i've started i've got so many on the go at the moment um but yeah anyway so let me just put these drills away so i've got those put away now i will get those labeled up in my log book but yes i am very happy with these so check out uh, one day savings websites as i say they have got some special offers on at the moment you can use liz fern to get uh, a little deal for yourself five percent off okay well i uh, hope you've enjoyed uh, looking at these with me we've had our beautiful wolf canvas with our lovely colors so i'm sure this will drill up a lot lighter with these colors than it actually looks there we've got our great edging which actually will probably go with this painting as well we'll have to see but i think uh, i've got designs on that one and then my pen which i will use and i will give you a review on it once i've been using it for a while and let you know what i think as i say if this works as well as my others that cost an awful lot more money then this is fantastic if you've enjoyed this video a thumbs up is always much appreciated and if you've got any comments or questions please leave them in the comments down below thank you to one day saving and i for sending me these to have a look at really enjoyed looking at these and having a play and if you want to come back and see what i get up to next and see the review on these and me using this then if you press that subscribe button and the all notifications bell next to it you'll be notified when any of my videos come up so thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.